a and b are integers and a squared plus a equal to b squared find the value of a and b for solving this problem we check small numbers small value of a the first we know a squared plus a equal to b squared we can factor from a and we can say a times a plus one equal to b squared so if we check for example small numbers a zero we can conclude b is zero so one answer is a zero b zero if a is one then one times two is b squared and it's contradiction if a is negative one then negative one times negative one plus one zero equal to b squared so b is zero so it will be negative one and zero and then okay so here i can say um, we consider two cases suppose a is positive case one then a is positive because we've checked a one so we can say a is at least two so i say a times a plus one or a squared plus a is greater strictly greater than a squared unless than a plus one squared why because by identity we know for example x plus y squared equal to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared and here you can say it is a squared plus 2a plus 1 which is obviously greater than this a is positive greater than equal to so because it is between two look it's so much important so much useful idea two consecutive perfect squares because there are two consecutive for example when we say a number is between five squared and six squared and a squared plus a is what equal to b squared by the first main equation so when we have b squared between five squared and six squared then we can say okay so here we can't say any perfect square because it cannot be five b is not six and also we're negative so contradiction and here we will see it's impossible now if we check case number two a is negative and because we've checked negative one so a is less than or equal to negative one now a squared plus a we can say is less than a squared because a is negative and also we can say it is greater than or equal to a minus one squared because by the identity here y is negative one x is a we can say it is a squared minus 2a plus 1 and if you want to check this inequality this equivalent that's 3a uh, sorry here i should write plus 1 but for better explanation let me do something i think it's good to consider if i want to explain this it will be a little hard for you but for a better explanation i say okay a equal to negative a1 now i know a1 is at least 1. now a squared plus 2a we know a squared plus a equal to b squared if you replace a with negative a1 it will be a1 squared minus a1 equal to b squared now i can say a squared minus a1 is less than a1 squared and greater than a1 minus 1 squared why because it is a1 squared minus 2a1 plus one by the identity let me erase the things we don't mean here if i want to prove let me write the identity here we've used x minus y squared equal to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared now if i want to prove this inequality star i want to say a squared a1 squared minus 2a1 plus 1 is less than a1 squared minus a1, which is equivalent to, you can cancel these two things. Equivalent to a1, if you take it to right hand side, it will be a1 greater than 1. Okay, so uh, because we've checked 1, we can say it's negative less than negative 2, because we've checked if a is negative 1, you've checked that and we've reached negative 1, 0. 
So we can say negative two, and here also we can say a one is at least two. So that's a one is at least two. We can say a one is greater than one. So again, there are two consecutive perfect squares. So because it is b squared, it cannot be between two consecutive perfect squares. So contradiction here. And we found two answers. This one, zero, zero, and this one, negative one, zero. There are our only answers, a zero, b zero, a negative one, and b zero. Thanks for watching this video, and please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell, and like the video. And have a good day.